Hi, thank you for tuning in to WRUULP, Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings, community radio with Global Soul. And you have just tuned into Real Estate Real Talk with Julia M. Spencer and Daniil Ivanov. Say hi. Hey, what's <laughs> up from... We are in Mexico. Mexico. Hello, everybody. In Playa. Yeah, we're yes. in Playa de Carmen, PDC. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get started with our program today, I wanted to remind all the listeners that the viewpoints expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of WRUU, its license holder, or its staff. That is our general disclaimer. I hope everybody's doing really, really well this Wednesday in Savannah. And uh, shout out to my son Julian, who is editing this radio show for us this week. And also shout out to Tom Murray, who is actually hosting my radio shows in my absence whenever I can't record a show previously. So, yay, yes, everyone! Shout out. Well, I, I, I would say shout out not only for Julian, but uh, Buddha too. Yeah, well, shout out to Buru as Buddha well. is awesome, yeah. Both of my kids are amazing. So we are here in Mexico. Hello, Arriva. Yeah, Arriva, <laughs> tequila, mascal, <laughs> uh, beautiful beach, beautiful weather, mm-hmm. gorgeous women. And that's my personal thing, so, but, so don't worry about that. Was, uh, uh, it's, it's fantastic. The food is great. They Tastes different. Let's put it this yeah, way. Yeah, it's very much different. It's very even rich. cilantro is like even just basic cilantro. Very rich. Is just, yes. Yeah, it's we a, love it. Yeah. We love we love it here. We have a really nice uh, two bedroom, two and a half condo. We rent it with yeah. a nice little courtyard. And if you watch my Facebook, my YouTube channel, you can see some pictures. But we have we, a jacuzzi. We have a jacuzzi. It's not working, unfortunately. That's the. The theme of our trip. Every time we get a jacuzzi, it's, not <laughs> it's broken for some reason everywhere. <laughs> everywhere we go, yeah. But the beach and the pool helps. Yeah, yeah, we're good. And uh, we're on the rooftop. So if you hear some background noise, we apologize for this, but we wanted to definitely bring you the show that you expect from the two crazy real estate investors from Savannah. And we have a couple things we want to talk about today, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. start with uh, let's start with the business relationship yeah. between people. Yeah, business who... relationships. Yeah. So you go ahead, you start. <laughs> <laughs> so if a couple, uh, maybe if you've watched my uh, listened to my show before, or you watched my YouTube channel, obviously, I did sometime around January advertise somebody's event. It was a, like a real estate mega mind type, uh, um, I guess it was like a mastermind type thing where you could apply or uh, sign up for free and get some good information about real estate investing. And that was actually hosted by a, what I thought was a business, good business associate friend who was actually somebody we met here in Mexico back then. And he uh, graciously took a couple of hours of my time to, my life <laughs> of my life to help him support in his endeavor and uh, he is actually still here and yesterday we were in the town where he is now located because he I guess permanently located and we you know quite honestly I'm just gonna say this on the show he was a douche to that's yeah, fair. I mean, I mean, that's being nothing, very not, honest. Nothing wrong with him about. We just didn't like him when we first met him, but I wanted to give him a chance, and he seemed like he was in real estate. And of course, I can no, he was in real estate. Talk shop with people in real estate, yeah. right? So I thought, you know, we could maybe collaborate. So yeah, I'll offer you some of my knowledge, my insights, my information for his subscribers, and the hopes, of course, as with all relationships, that something will come back to me at some point. And bite you in the butt. And I'm not talking about uh, I asked for a favor back or anything. I just wanted an interview for our show. And um, I kind of announced myself. I said I was in town. Would he be willing to answer some questions? This was the second time I've actually asked. I've asked uh, about three months ago. I never heard back. 
And、uh, this time I was like, hey, you kind of owe me. You want to talk to me? And I'm in town. And at first he said, yeah, he was interested. But then it became throughout the day with the text messages, it came to be that he apparently had another engagement, probably a date or whatever. I don't know. But I guess my,、uh, my inquiry wasn't important enough. So I was basically told, nah, don't have time for you. <laughs> And after that,、yeah. you, you kind of like, oh my God, what happened to you? I got. You got I, mad. You got I, mad. I, I was very mad and, about and, this. And, and truthfully so, because you, know, you did. It、uh, was hurtful. It was truthful. Tru- tru- hurtful, truthful. <laughs> 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 But you did go out of your way. You use your knowledge, your everything, pretty、mm-hmm. much for free, just. As a gesture of let's do business together. Yeah. So that's his name. If you're listening to this show, <laughs> sell him. <laughs> this is,、uh, was not cool, by the way. This was not cool. And we don't appreciate that. And no. And, I mean, and, and but honestly, I mean, honestly, you, the thing you is, learn. Yeah, we learn. We walk away. So what we learned from this whole experience, because this is what we wanted to bring to you. As the listeners, is you will go into business relationships and personal relationships as well.、Um, you go in these relationships offering whatever it is that you have to offer, and the other party may or may not offer it back. You can't shut yourself down, of course, because you still want to make business and you still want to make friends and you still want to have these relationships that you want to build. But sometimes it really bites you in, in the butt more than anything, and then You,、uh, you learn from it, and you know, that's kind of how we deal with things. So, I want to give well, a little. Well, we always give people a chance, like, like everybody else, I think we should. Everybody should get the chance.、Mm-hmm. But if it's like when a second chance comes in, at this point, you gotta cut, you gotta cut the tail. Yeah, yeah. And、um, one of my graybeard investors actually taught me because he. Would always send these really cool, good deals of properties to to his investor group. And he would say, Hey, buy this, buy this, you know.、Um, and I'm not asking any money up front from you, but when you register a profit later on down the line, when you sell the property or if you rent it out, once you got a really, one of those really good, super awesome tax sale foreclosure deals, I want my percentage. And my percentage, by the way, is this and this. Let's make an agreement, let's write that down on paper. And、uh, when you have that profit, then pay up, basically. you know. And I asked him, I said, So, what about those people that take your recommendations and then they register the profit and just don't pay you? What do you do with those people? He said, No problem at all. That's the last deal I sent to them. And they'll never make any money through me ever again. So, this is kind of the same situation. If、just、this.、Uh, like like、uh, anything、business. in life, I think it's life and everything is the same way. Cut your losses. Yeah. If, you, if this person comes back to me and wants me for another event as a speaker or to help him with、uh, information, it's going to cost him some money. He's going to have to buy some time to talk to me. And,、uh, and I'm not saying that in any rude or mean kind of way, it's just that's the way that it's done. We. We have a little bit, we had an informal agreement in this case that we would exchange information, we would collaborate, we would try to bring value to both my subscribers and his. And unfortunately, I got from him nothing. And he got a couple hours of my time. And yeah, that's not cool.、Uh, we, we got nothing too, <laughs> but that's the last time we deal with that、mm-hmm, person. Absolutely. So here you go. <laughs> Life lesson. Life lesson learned. There we go. That was a. That was our first event, our first topic for this particular show here today. Yeah. So, but we, we do not trying to start, the, we didn't want to start it with a negative. No worries. Because no. we.、Uh, We're actually the, quite happy here in Mexico. w e in paradise, it's beautiful. <laughs> we didn't want to start doing, you know, starting on a bad note. It's not a bad note, it's just a life lesson kind of thing. Exactly. exactly. But we will talk about something fun next. For、sure, yeah. Well, well the well, next well. thing that we that happened today actually, and as we we're recording this, it is Monday, the first Monday of April of 2021, which、yeah. means tomorrow is the first Tuesday of the month, which is when we have an auction in Chatham County. If you're listening in the county where we normally reside, 
And um, by the time you listen to the show, it's probably going to be Wednesday, so it's already over. But I actually, out of the blankety blue, yes, and unexpectedly, and, and shout out to, we'll do a shout out as we well. Should, we should we do a shout out. This is uh, Miss uh, Mrs. Sonia Jackson, Commissioner Jackson, called me directly on my phone and uh, basically asked me if I wanted to make a payment on a property that's about to be auctioned off tomorrow. And I was like, hmm, very interesting. I don't have a property that's being auctioned off tomorrow. But when she said the address, I knew exactly what was going on. So let me give you a little bit of the background story, and then Daniil can talk a little bit what happened after that. So uh, we had a, I had a property I bought in 2018 in Savannah. It was in, it's an in, in upcoming not, neighborhood. It's not a, not that yeah, it's an up. Yeah, I'll take that. It's a, it's a neighborhood that's not quite there yet in Savannah. I would say, um, will be probably very soon. And I purchased that property at a tax sale in 2018 for about nine hundred dollars, I believe. It wasn't very much. It wasn't a thousand dollars. It was less than a thousand. I believe I was the only bidder. I'm not sure why, because the property is not that bad at all. It's kind of small. And it was a price, <laughs> a price that it was a price at about fifty five thousand then, and I think it's still about the same. I drove by that property many times throughout the redemption period. As you know, I go to tax sale foreclosures, and the redemption period in Georgia is one year and one day. So I drove by a couple of times and never saw anybody there. Realized property is vacant. It was a little bit in a in a bad. Uh, it was bad upkeep. It wasn't really kept up very very well. Didn't have a really big backyard or front yard, so it wasn't really too much trouble, but people were throwing trash on the front porch and things. Um, I kind of knocked on the door. Obviously, nobody lived there, but and it's been, I've kind of been waiting for uh, getting ownership of this property after the year was up. What then happened is that a year later, pretty much exactly a year later, the owner contacted me and paid the property off on the very extremely last day and if you've watched my youtube channel you can actually see the pictures of the property i made a video about this and i also talked to you about how that whole exchange of the last minute redemption went off because it wasn't very it wasn't very friendly <laughs> very pretty it wasn't pretty because it enough. was actually past the time it was but... no it was not past the time but i kind of made the point that um, well, I, I realized that the property was owned by a retirement fund and some lawyers were running this fund. From, uh, from Connecticut. Connecticut, right? And they uh, didn't, they kind of forgot about it. They, they, they literally forget forgot about it. Forgot about this property. And then somebody realized at the tw almost 12th hour that, hey, we better pay this or we'll lose this property. And then this lady did, and she's like, oh, I send you a check. And I'm like, I'm not taking any checks. I need, you know, cash in hand. You need to send me PayPal. By the way, how much did you send me? And she sent me what I paid at the auction. I was like, no, 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 no. You got to pay me my interest, you know. It's the purpose of us buying these properties at the auction is to make some money. So you can't just pay me what I paid. What I did, just and give you a loan for, re for you. Re remind what the interest usually is. 20%. It's, 20, a 20, it's, it's a penalty. It's a penalty in the state of Georgia, yes. Uh -huh. And it goes like what, by the quarters? Mm -mm. All, the way, all the way from day one. If somebody redeems the property after day one, it's 20%. It's a penalty, not an interest rate. It's not prorated. So whether they redeem it on day one or day 365, doesn't matter. It's 20%. So for the owner, it's better to pay it off later because, you know, they have more time. But for the investor, it's best earlier. But so. they also got to pay you what you buy it on the auction. So, like, yeah, you if you have a good deal, right? Yeah. If it goes for 1000 bucks and you pay 1000 bucks, mm -hmm. yep. good. But if you spend $20,000, then they owe you that money. 20% of And 20%. Exactly, exactly. So they were really lucky. And um, I accepted the money. I wrote them a quick claim deed. I filed it at the courthouse. They even got, they even asked me when they were going to get the, the quit claim deed. I told them the original will be sent to them. Everything was completed, and it was a done deal. I walked away, and they kept their property. So the tax commissioner called me today, and she's like, are you going to pay off this property because it's going off for auction again? And Which I'm is like, 
very cool number one shout out to a new tax commissioner. Yes, Ms. very much. Son- Miss Sonia, mm-hmm. if you're listening to it, this again we're inviting you to a TV show. I mean, TV show, radio show. We do have some questions mm-hmm. about commissioning. She recognized us. Yeah, she recognized it's us. It's kind of hard to miss us. <laughs> but it was very cool that she called personally on the cell us. phone. Like, not the assistant, not some kind of, like, girl on the phone. Yeah, It was yeah. her personally. That was very cool. That so was cool, shout yeah. out for that. Thank you very much. So Chatham County tax commissioners are definitely taking the effort to make sure homeowners are notified when their properties is go- are going up for auction in person by phone call which is uh, is a great thing to do. I really... I, I think, I think it's a very thing. good thing. She yeah. I mean, Shout out. She's probably a busy Absolutely. woman anyways. But just making personal phone calls, that's that's very cool. That's for awesome. the person that can... In that statue, I yeah. guess. Uh, but yes, yeah, so... so anyway. That's the story. We, um, I kind of informed her I don't own it anymore. I guess my phone number still popped up. Uh, and then she went into another record and it showed the uh, original owner back on track. And I kind of told her the story that I just told you all on the air here. And uh, gave her the numbers. We also called the numbers ourselves because uh, yeah. if the uh, original owner still is not able to make the tax payments, as they haven't been able to do two years, three years ago, maybe which they is, want to sell the property to us. So that was Which is a very good advice, by the way, if you guys want to, like, uh, if anybody want to avoid this hassle with the um, auction, you actually, if you have contact information, and previous shows we said how to find those contact information sometimes mm-hmm. for social media and things like that. That's a very good advice. You can actually call them directly and pretty much strike the deal before it goes on auction. Yeah. You can pay pay the tax they own. Mm-hmm. And if you if your wallet is kind of, you know, if you liquid, yeah. you can throw some money directly so you don't need to go for the hassle of the auction and you can actually get it. Yeah, this is what Daniel Daniel is talking about. It's called front running so this is when you identify owners of properties whose properties are about to be auctioned off and contact them prior to the auction strike up some sort of deal with them to purchase the property from them at a reduced rate at a discount uh, whilst at the same time paying off their taxes as uh, part of the part payment of the deal, part, of part of the, the deal, deal basically yeah. so you avoid the competition at the tax sales and you might get a really, really good deal without... Um, well, you, know, you don't need to go register and drive up there and stay maybe radio. No you competition. Get like, yeah, yes. exactly. So that's kind of like what we've been working on. We called the owners. Uh, one number didn't respond. The other number, the man actually responded, but he said he doesn't own any such property. So again, I think that poor little property, which I'd love to have, kind of fell through the cracks again a second yeah, time it's it's people are just they're we, just some we, and we want it <laughs> yeah we'd like to have we it so it again you know please sell it to us so somebody's gonna buy tomorrow i know and by the way some background noise here we are still on the roof here in mexico <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> having a good time and so uh yeah so we were pulling and pushing levers here earlier today because we're obviously not in Chatham County right now, but we will have a, a friend of ours go to the auction for somebody, yeah. and and hopefully purchase the property for us a second time. So we will see how that goes. It's going to be it's, very interesting. It's a lesson for, for us and a lesson for a friend of ours to mm-hmm. go first time on the auction. Mm-hmm. But it's a lesson for us, can we do that type of operation yeah, and, and absolutely and absolutely so and it's another actually it will be another trust uh, trust type of operation because the person who's going to be purchasing for us is an investor mm-hmm. so he actually going to buy it for us with his money and then we'll but pay him guy. back within like two or three days as soon as we can get the transfer going from here yeah from here which takes a couple of days but the courthouse doesn't care up there Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it would be interesting. It's a it's a trust kind of trust test as well because yep. the person who buys it 
probably want to keep it as well. Well, let's see if he was gonna let's keep see. it to himself. I'm curious. Yeah, this is like, I feel like I'm playing with Monopoly <laughs> pieces, and it's so but much this fun is, to but me. This is, but this is an investment. This is a real estate investment. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just business. Mm -hmm. It's no hard feelings. Kind of thing. Kind of thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's we will see who we can trust, who we cannot trust, and at the end of the day, I think it's gonna be a win win for everybody, anyway. Yes, it is, and we love it. We love doing this. This is our our bread and butter, I guess. <laughs> but at the same time, it's it's what we responded to. We just had a very great deal. The house just it's already under the contract. Oh, that's our next segment. We're going to talk about that. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. But yes. The, that's where the trust goes when when we say pull the trigger. Pull the trigger, or, or you'll be or, left or, behind. Or yeah, or it's just exactly. <laughs> Do not hesitate. You can't deliberate and elaborate in this kind of business. You really need to be trigger ready. You need to have your uh, your funds loaded and trigger ready. Otherwise, you're not gonna. I You're always going to be last. I think it was, in, since we're in the Caribbean, i going to kind of cliche maybe, but I'm going to remember the movie uh, Pirates of the Caribbean with Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. When he said, what's the pirate's code? Who left behind, stays behind. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we actually have about two minutes or so for some announcements, as we have them at the bottom of the hour usually. But we were talking, uh, we have a couple more things for you right after this break. One of them we're going to talk about being ready for the good deals, that that's a really big thing in our business, that you can't like start thinking about it. And we realized this on two separate occasions, actually, just in the last couple of days, last 24 hours, where we've presented deals and people have not jumped on them and have lost out and lost a lot of money. And the last thing I think we want to talk about was well, what? I can I can say something about the Airbnb situation. The Airbnb situation, yeah, we yeah. got. Of course, we always have an Airbnb situation while we're gone. It's it never fails. We're both leaving at the same time, and something happens with Airbnb. But let's get to a couple of announcements, and as we do them here at the bottom of the hour, you're listening to WRUULP. Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings, community radio with Global Soul. The federal government has reopened health care plan enrollment for the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, from February 15th to August 15th, 2021. To answer the questions, do I qualify? And how do I enroll? Go to healthcare.gov. Also use healthcare.gov to compare plans, sign up for coverage, and get financial assistance. Again, for more information and to sign up for a healthcare plan under the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, go to healthcare.gov. The Mediation Center of the Coastal Empire helps people from all walks of life who are trying to resolve their conflicts without going to court. The Mediation Center's Family Law Resource Center helps families who are experiencing difficulties in navigating the legal system. The Mediation Center also has volunteering opportunities for those who want to make a difference in their community. Please visit www.mediationsavannah.com to connect with them and to learn more about their programs and services. What does it mean when we say that WRUU is a community radio station? It doesn't just mean that we invite the community to create programming, and it doesn't just mean that we are a voice for the community. It also means that we are counting on the community to keep us going, and you are the community. Almost all of our modest budget comes from small, annual, or monthly donations from listeners like you. You get to enjoy our community-focused programming because many others have stepped forward to do their part. Now do your part by joining our community of listener donors. Go to WRUU.org right now and make a one-time or monthly donation. And thank you for supporting Savannah's community radio station, 107.5 FM. So we want to talk a little bit about this deal that we sent to our friend Andy in Atlanta. 
yesterday. And we kind of were a little bit late ourselves, but um, it is a house that came up for sale in our neighborhood. And I kind of already knew that it was going to go up for sale because I saw we saw the owner and yeah. the neighbors have told us he's selling it. And this is way before it even went on the MLS. And we were kind of kind of doubtful because we know the neighbor and we think he's a little bit of a cheapskate and he's going to sell it for a lot more. But when I saw it on the uh, website yesterday, it looks like he was asking for a very fair deal. And well, we can say it. Like he, he asked it for what, 240, two, 248, 248 or something, yeah. while everything else is going over 300 in that particular uh uh, price well type of house anyways the size well, of house da, da, and stuff. Da, down the street the house will sell for four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars yeah so and it was we, a we were good assuming deal. that he would jack As up the price top dollar too yeah exactly but he did it he actually threw it on the market for a very good price it was a good price I mean it was still a lot more than what he paid but it was still a good price so we ended up sending this deal to an investor a friend of ours who wanted to, who asked us to help him find some deals. And we were like, you need to get on this like today. You need to write right an now. offer right now. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, when he finally, what what did he first say? Well, he, he, he first said, he was like, well, I was looking more like, you know, if you can find me something for $20,000, but you cannot buy in Chatham County in Whitmarsh Island anything for $20,000. No, no, I mean, you, it, it, even in the best of times when I started about 10 years ago in that area, no, there's no way. But 248 was a great deal. And Julia being, I mean, being the guru about all this stuff, she already, uh, she already priced it. She said, okay, so if somebody gets this house, you can turn around and make fifty thousand dollars like within a day you don't even need to look at this house you don't need to even go up there you just buy it for 248 and put mm -hmm. it on micro for 300 mm -hmm. it, it will sell, sell. it yes. will sell if you want to keep it for a couple months and you know upgrade it a little bit and everything like that maybe drop another 10 grand more advertising and things like that you will probably end up 100k Mm -hmm. in profit yeah but the area is so hot that if you keep it and do it as a vacational property that house is gonna continue making money for you for that house years will, to will come. get you four four to five thousand dollars a month in rent in vacation rental dollars in long-term rental probably a little, like two, two thousand, maybe a little bit more. I know but that's this, the money in the pocket. Exactly, it sits, it sits which you don't need to make. Exactly, and this is the cool thing about and it. And everything in that house has already been upgraded. There's nothing really you need to do. I know this house because I rented it myself. It was part of my Airbnb business when the original the, owners the start, the start off. <laughs> moved away. I asked them, "Hey, can I rent your house? I'll make it into an Airbnb." They were agreeable. I paid them a monthly rent, and I uh, collected the difference between what I paid them and what Airbnb brought me in, and I made a handsome, handsome money until a year was up. My lease was up. They didn't renew because they figured, well, we can make this money ourselves. So why should we rent it to her when we can do this money ourselves? So. But the whole lesson about this story, this is, I think, where we're going to come to the conclusion on this story would be if you investor in real estate, mm -hmm. you do not have time. You're going to have money in hand and you're ready to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. There is no time to wait. There is no time... And yes, it happens. You will lose sometimes, but you won't lose much if you prepare it and ready what's happening. So the whole uh, the, the whole story, I guess, the, the moral of the story is when we called the investor and we said, hey, we found you a perfect, perfect house. Mm -hmm. And he was like, let me see the house first. Let me go up there look at it but the 
while he was let me thinking and everything, the house is pretty much already under the contract. Mm -hmm. When he was decided it was a good deal, he called and it was already on the contract. <laughs> so we're not trying to say, you know, we, we're not in the business. If you want to be in the business of realtors, that's not Mar the business we... Market real estate, yeah. If you're in the business of paying market prices... You can take your sweet old time. Not even that right now, because right now it's just right a now it's like a seller's goes, market everywhere yeah. you go, just about. But if you're, if, I mean, if you get a deal, you get a deal. You better get it, get it, or or, or don't. You miss out, and then that's, that's it. You're out. Thing. Yeah, that's a sad thing. So, which we tomorrow we're gonna introduce another uh, investor, it, another <laughs> investor to see how he's gonna react. Mm -hmm. And um, and I understand people are scared, people are afraid. But if people are scared and afraid, then that's not the business you want to be in. You need to be, you know. Mm -hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? You want to know? I mean, trigger him. We keep saying trigger, trigger, but mm, yeah. you need to be quick. Basically, you need to know what you want to do and do it you know and you need to be able to trust the people that are recommending things to you otherwise you're you'd be left out so another investor and let's not mention any names was also sent a message and he actually didn't even respond for like two or three hours to me and then decided oh i'm so sorry for responding so late i'm like that's fine the deal's already gone so again something to be said about being very quick when yeah, you know, when you have somebody that's looking for deals for you, you need to be very quick. You need to have your money ready, and you need to be be able to make a decision. If you can't make a decision, this is not your business. <laughs> yeah, Basically. early early bird gets gets the worm. That's it. And who gets up earlier gets the flip flops first. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that was the story about the pretty much the house we just went through mm -hmm. and let's talk a little bit about our airbnb experience next yeah. after this okay just a moment so the last segment of this show and we are talking unusually long because we don't know how to do music from this location so we're talking more and playing music less we're going to give you a little bit of information about our airbnb stories and entertain you a little bit if you're an airbnb host you'll appreciate these stories of course and as you know, we are Airbnb hosts and Airbnb um, owners, uh, owners of real estate, that vacation rental owners. And we have Airbnbs in Atlanta, Macon, and Savannah. So while we're on the trip, usually something happens. Always nothing something happens, happens when we're home, nothing. But when we leave, something happens. So take it away. Yes. <laughs> so the story happened to our Atlanta uh, Atlanta property. Well, first of all, don't if you Airbnb host and don't get upset and because situation happens like well, I'm not even going to the air conditioner situation. We we're, we're going to start with like a pest control like roaches. Um there is what is called American cockroach or palmetto bug, the water bug. It's a very big thing. Like if ever, if you live in Georgia, and you they know. Fly. <laughs> yeah, you everybody knows it. It's it's it's, it's a big thing. <laughs> big black it, thing <laughs> with antlers, and it's like. It, it, it it's is probably eaten in some areas of the world because it's so <laughs> juicy. <and meaty. laughs> yeah, so. But this is not actually like a German cockroach, that the one, the scary ones who carry the diseases and like all the bad things. It's more actually a water bug. Yes, it's called American cockroach or and palmetto they're bug. Too. They're, they're big They're big. So people, especially if you have a guest from up north, Midwest, people who have never been in the south, not Florida, not Louisiana. South Georgia, Carolina. South Carolina, like our 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 turf. Yeah. So they, they they people really freak out. They see them and they're thinking you have a pest issues. Mm -hmm. So I got the phone call last night before last, and they said, "Oh my goodness, 
you have a past issue because there is a palmetto bug half a life laying on the in the kitchen floor mm-hmm. and if everybody's in the south they know these guys for some reason don't want to die quietly in the corner they want to crawl out in the middle of everything and they just lay up there and they, they dead they, they're already dead but we got the phone call so of course i had to call the pest control to calm the gas down and of course pest control came out look at the um look at the uh, at the house there is no pest infestation whatsoever uh, yeah, Palomero bug just crawled in, and Atlanta house is what seven eight. Uh, what we got? Two point four acres up there. It's a woodsy area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's like, over. It's over two acres. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it's it's it's, it's woodsy area. So things get in the house. And it doesn't matter. You you can have a machine gun up there. I don't know what you have for for, for the pest control, but like you can't stop sometimes. It's those in the things. woods. It's there's no way to avoid it. You're living in the woods out there. But people who never been in the south, they thinking, oh my gosh, it's you know it's an issue. And of course, Orkin. Or, or, uh, shout out to Orkin, by the way. We love Orkin. Good guys. Um, showed up, tested everything. And a, and, a, and a good advice as well for the old host up there, uh, 80%, and this is what the gentleman, I, I, I don't know, I mean, don't call me 100% on that, but this is what the technician told me, that 80% of Airbnb or vacation properties gets the bugs by people actually, the guests, bringing them in with themselves from mm-hmm. their houses. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was like a first kind of first thing, uh, mm-hmm. what happened. So that been squashed because oh my goodness, Palomero bug just died in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. It's all good. But another thing which I almost hit the wall today. I think it was my fist. How angry I was. But I got the phone call, and the phone call from the same house. It was the guest told me that they don't have any hot water. And they heard water running. Right, yeah, water running where the washer and the dryer is. But they didn't see any water anywhere. They just heard it. Yeah, and I do have two water heaters installed. Because it's a very big house. So, yeah, it's a very big house. It's a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath. And uh, very, I mean, two, I mean, big house. Beautiful house, big house, two stories, blah, blah, blah. So, anywho, so the person said there is no hot water. And water is running. And water is running. <laughs> so... So, the first thought, I had this thought. I'm like, this can't be so simple. <laughs> yeah. Like, these people cannot, not, it's just not possible. Let's just, let's just go with this. Because if I'm going to say what I think this is, it's just too simple. Like, my thought was, okay, water's running because somebody's taking a shower. <laughs> And the water heater is re- refilling with water after the person is finished. And, it, and, it's, and it's exactly it's, it's so what it... so stupid. It was exactly that's what it was. <laughs> so for three hours of my life, this morning, here in Mexico, <laughs> I'm stressing out finding the plumber all over Atlanta because American Home Shield, shout out to them too as well, not a problem. This guy had contacts he's found from 10 years years ago I digged out everybody <laughs> I knew possibly who knows how to I don't know like put the toilet paper in the like in the toilet pretty much and I didn't know who else to call because I really thought that's a big issue because that's how the guests explained it to me mm-hmm. um, but as Julia said and I called everybody in Atlanta the half of Atlanta was working for, by the way like for three hours shout out to Atlanta as well Mm-hmm. was working for me for like probably three hours. So the simple solution was seven people took all a shower at the same time. The and water heaters ran out of water. While they were taking showers, you could hear the water running. Ta-da! And then when they were done, there was no more hot water. And then it filled up. And when they came home in the evening, guess what? Yeah, I called there them. and I, I called again. them. I'm sending like a, like a SWAT... <laughs> team of plumbers up there just freaking out ready to pay them thousands of dollars just like figure out what's going on and i called them like to explain them what's what's happening that i'm actually working on it i'm sending people and and the guest was like 
Well, you know, we came, uh, we, we came last night and everybody took a shower. We had hot water and everything. But please, if you're a host, before you start <laughs> freaking out. Just think the most out, simple thing first. And it's usually is. That's what it is, yeah. So, but anyways, that's kind of a disaster story of Airbnb port. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're in Mexico. Yep. So hopefully, Savannah, you guys having good good weather, good fun. Good I time. Heard good time. I think there is some kind of big weekend coming up. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, just... Uh, Orange crush, we were thinking. But we don't know if it's this weekend, next weekend. We don't yeah. know. Yeah, but past, past Easter to everybody as well. Mm -hmm. whoever, whoever likes Easter and the bunnies and yes. eggs, I guess. Bunnies, um, eggs. So, but other than that, we yeah. are... That's it. Yeah. Okay. We're so gonna, which, Thank you so much for listening to our show. You just tuned into Real Estate Real Talk. We thought we would have somebody on the show here, but we will have more entertaining stories for you as always. And again, the show is on on Wednesdays at noon, every Wednesday at noon. Uh, some shows will be recorded. Other shows will be hosted by... Tom Murray, he is sitting in for me when I'm not here. The rest of the time, I will be there. So if you're listening to the show on YouTube or on the radio, we're glad to have you. Uh, tune in again every Wednesday at noon, right after the happiness message at 12 o'clock. Easy to remember, middle of the week, middle of the day. And uh, the viewpoints in expressed in the preceding program are not necessarily those of WRU, its license holder, or its staff. And my name is Julia M. Spencer. Here's oh, well, I, I'm Daniel. Daniel Ivanov. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> real estate investors here in Savannah. And you are listening to WRUULP, Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings, community radio with Global Soul. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliammspencer.com.